Hello and welcome to the virtual Fairfield Museum. My name is Tara Tomaselli and I'm the school programs manager at the museum. And that means that I work with a wonderful team of educators to help bring programs to young people. Right now the museum is closed to the public, but we are working really hard to bring um, our programming to you online. So please visit us at fairfieldhistory.org for a list of all of our programs. Um, today, I am live from my art studio, and I'm going to read a story to you. This is a book that is geared toward a pretty young audience around pre-K age, and it is called A Painter by Douglas Florian. And while I'm reading this story to you, we can look at some art supplies as we go. A painter creates pictures. How many of you like to create pictures? With sticks of charcoal, he can draw long swirling lines. I just so happen to have some charcoal behind me. And artists use charcoal to sometimes draw out their pictures first, or it can just be with charcoal if you're drawing. With watercolors, he can paint a mosaic of colors. I just so happen to have some watercolors here as well. These are watercolors in a palette, but your watercolors might come in a smaller um, little tray. With oils, he can paint rich patterns and textures. I don't have any oils with me right now, but another kind of paint that artists use is acrylic paint, which comes kind of like this in a tube or sometimes in a jar. And you might have other kinds of paints at home too. You might use poster paint or tempera paint. Any kind of paint is great to use when you're painting a picture. With pastels, he can draw strokes of shimmering light. I have some pastels right here. These are chalk pastels. They make a lot of, them, a lot of mess when we're working with them. They get very dusty. With paper, scissors, and glue, he can create a collage of shapes. I have some materials for collages, and I bet you do too. All you need are some different kinds of glues, scissors, and papers of any kind. This is a little collage that I made. He can work large, very, very large, like a big mural, or small, very, very tiny. A painter can paint what he sees. Perhaps he sees a busy street. or a grove of trees, or children playing. Do you paint some of the things that you see? A painter can paint what he feels. Perhaps he's feeling sadness. Perhaps anger or joy. Sometimes the colors we use and the marks that we make can show our feelings in our paintings. He can paint from memory. He can paint from his imagination. In different ways, Day after day, a 
painter creates pictures. What kind of picture will you make today? I bet even if you don't have some of these art supplies at home, you probably have some things that you can do some artwork with today. Maybe you have some crayons or even some colored pencils. I bet you might have markers at home. I bet everyone has a pencil. So whatever you have on hand, try to make something creative today. An artist shows all kinds of things, tells a story, and art can be a little glimpse into things that are going on. Tell us a little bit about you. So I hope you enjoyed our story. It was called A Painter by Douglas Florian. And thanks again for joining me. And thank you to all of our supporters. You too can support the Fairfield Museum just by becoming a member, by making a donation, or just by simply liking and sharing our posts. So enjoy. Thank you so much. And we hope to see you again soon. Take care. Have a great day.